Yo, what is going on guys? Your boy Vismal back again with another DS4 Windows setup video, okay? This is going to be an updated video to my last one that I posted. Um, uh, a few people in the comments were having issues, uh, not too sure what's going on. So if you are one of those people, go ahead and just delete the program and uh, start fresh with me, okay? You may have downloaded an old version or... Uh, maybe you didn't uh, set it up right within the program. So yeah, just delete it uh, Follow along with me. I'm gonna leave this in the description. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get started click on that link in the description and Follow along. We're gonna hit download now. Okay Okay, and this is the latest release if you're watching this um, Weeks after this is posted and they've came out with a new version uh, It should be right here um, Yeah, it'll say latest release so yeah, just follow along. Either way, we're going to click on this second box. It'll be DS4 Windows 3.0.5, which is the latest release right now, 64.zip. All right, click that. All right, we're going to wait for this to download. Once this is downloaded, we are going to go ahead and click it. All right, go to our downloads, and you'll see the zip folder right here. All right, go ahead and right-click that. Go ahead and extract it. You can extract it to wherever you want to. Extract that. Once that is extracted... We're going to open the file. All right. We're going to see DS4 Windows right here with this uh, blue and purple logo. Uh, we're going to go ahead and double click that. All right. You might get a pop up. Go ahead and just run anyway. It is safe. All right. All right. You should be, you should be brought right here. All right. So make sure you hit start down here in the bottom right. Plug in your controller and you should see it right here. Okay. We're going to go over to settings. We're going to click on controller slash driver setup. Yes. Click yes. All right. Step one, install the driver. All right. So go ahead and install this driver. Hit finished. All right. Once you do that, the program will stop. So go ahead and click start again in the bottom right. Make sure you start the program again. All right. Run it startup and run as program. All right. This program does not work if it is not running. So you can go ahead and minimize to taskbar. So when you minimize it, it's gonna go down to your taskbar. Go ahead and open that up. All right, so make sure you run this as program. Every time you start your PC, you will not have to reopen this and start it. All right, so that's pretty helpful. Okay, so we're gonna go over to profiles. Make sure your controller's still here. Go over to profiles. Um, I already have two profiles, um, but you're not gonna have one, so go ahead and click new. Uh, do you wanna use a preset option? Uh, just hit yes. Uh, gamepad, yep. DualShock, yep. Apply. All right, and for some reason with this new version, uh, it doesn't give you the default settings uh, right here in your dead zones. Uh, not too sure why. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to cancel, and we're going to go to my profile. All right. So here we go. One second. Oh. One se All right, there we go. So... You're going to be right here. All right. Now, if you do not have these settings that you're seeing on my, uh, on the screen, go ahead and just copy these, pause the video and copy these. All right. Copy everything you see here. All right. So once you've copied those, go ahead and hit apply and then save. Okay. Apply and save. Okay. Next, we're going to go to other. And BT pull rate, this is if you're playing Bluetooth, go ahead and make this max one millisecond. Uh, even if you are not using Bluetooth, still just go ahead and make this max one millisecond. Emulated controller uh, below this. Uh, you're going to want to make this DualShock 4 if you're using a PlayStation controller, which I'm sure you are. Go ahead and make this DualShock 4. Uh, if you are wanting to use this program to play other games like uh, CSGO, for example, you can't use a controller in CSGO, but if you have DS4 Windows... Uh, you can make this to where it'll emulate your controller as a 360 controller and you will be able to play Valorant, CSGO, uh, whatever game that normally doesn't allow you to use a controller in. But I'm using a PlayStation controller and um, I only play Call of Duty usually and Warzone and stuff like that. So most games I play allow a controller. So make this DualShock 4. And yeah, so we're going to don't mess with these. Don't mess with these. Don't mess with that. All right. Next, what we're going to want to do is 
we're going to want to map our buttons, okay? So, a few people were having issues saying that their buttons were acting weird and blah, blah, blah. So, make sure you map your buttons. Cross is your X. So, you're going to hit cross, cross, circle, circle, square, square, okay? Triangle, triangle, all right? So on and so forth, okay? Make sure you do that for all of these, okay? So, yeah, like share would be share. You're going to click share. All right, make sure you map them to the correct button, okay? Uh, these ones right here were kind of confusing to me when I first seen them, but this is your left stick up. So you're going to click that, and you're going to click right here. It'll say left Y axis, all right? So when you hover over it, it'll say left stick up right below the controller, as you can see. Um, yeah, that's how you know you're doing it right. So left stick up. We're going to hit up. Boom. Left stick down. We're going to do the down. All right, left, left. All right, uh, let's see. Yeah, left stick right. Right. I'm sorry, I just mapped that wrong. See that? You gotta pay attention. All right, make sure you do that for all these. All right, uh, do that for your right stick too. Just map all these correctly. Be sure you do that, guys. All right, and these are unassigned. I just leave these unassigned. Uh, you can if you want to. Uh, for example, say you're playing Fortnite. If you want to make your swipe up on your touchpad, uh, say you want it to open your map, you can do that. Uh, but I just leave them unassigned. But after you map that and you, uh, yeah, after you've done the settings that I've showed you so far, go ahead and click apply and hit save and then go back into your profile and you should be right here. All right. Let's see. We're going to go to controller readings. All right. I have an input delay of zero milliseconds, so I have no delay on my controller. Uh, if you want to get to zero milliseconds, uh, go check out my other video after you have set up DS4. Uh, my other video is how to overclock your controller, which will get you down to zero milliseconds. Okay, guys. Um, if you are not at zero milliseconds, you should be around the th two to four range. Uh, so it's not too big of a difference, but if you're playing a game like Call of Duty, um, every second uh, or millisecond counts. All right. So if you want to get to zero, go ahead and check out my other video on how to overclock your controller. Uh, but uh, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and make sure we have covered these. All right. All right. So here I'm about to explain these. Make sure you have these settings. Like I said, right here, left stick. This little red circle is your dead zone. Uh, if you don't know how dead zones work, I'll explain it really quickly. Um, so say you're getting, this is your left stick, by the way, as you can see right here. Um, Say you're getting stick drift in your left stick. You're going to want to raise this up in increments of one. So it'll be on 0 0.08. If you're getting stick drift, go ahead and raise that to 0 0.09. Hit apply. As you can see, it got a little bigger. All right. And if you're still getting stick drift and stick drift is where when you're not touching your joystick, but it's moving in game, uh, that is stick drift. and You don't want that. If you're still getting stick drift. Go ahead and raise that up to 0 0.10. Hit apply. As you can see, it got a little bigger. Now, for example, say you had to put it to 20, which God forbid you have to do that. But if you did hit apply, you can see that red circle is huge. OK, so that black square is my joystick. I'm moving it right now. Um, if I push it up slightly, as you can see, um, it is not going to move in the game until I am out of this red circle. OK, that's how dead zones work. So. Like I said, if you're getting stick drift, make sure you just raise this up in increments of one until you do not have stick drift anymore. But I have a pretty new controller, so I don't really get stick drift. So I just leave it on the default ones because this is already super low. Uh, your max dead zone or your max zone, your anti dead zone, max output. These are all default right here. Like I said, these are all default right here. I have not, well, I've, I've messed with my left stick, but there's no need to change any of these depending on what game you're playing. Uh, we're going to go down to the right stick. All right, same thing. These are all default. This will be linear. Make sure you have all these. Um, but right here on your right stick, on your output curve, you're going to want to change it from linear to enhanced precision. All right, if you're playing Cold War or Warzone, uh, you might notice after downloading this program that your joystick is a super, super sensitive. Um, I noticed that, and I played with it for a while, and I got pretty used to it, but... Um, I noticed when I was making micro adjustments uh, while aiming in Cold War or Warzone, 
Um, it was really difficult because of how sensitive my joystick was. Um, I have messed with all of these and enhanced precision is by far the best. I'm not going to go too in depth, but trust me on this enhanced precision is the best. Go ahead and change that. All right. And just make sure you have all of these settings. All right. L2 and R2. These are your triggers. If you use your triggers to aim and shoot in Call of Duty, um, you can lower your dead zones on your triggers to make them more sensitive. Uh, I use my bumpers, so I did not mess with these either. And yeah, guys, let's see. Uh, make sure I got everything. Make sure you have all this. All right. And once you have uh, set your settings to uh, what you prefer, uh, go ahead and make sure you hit apply and save. Okay. Make sure you do that because if you don't, it's not going to save it. Okay. So after you set everything, after you map your buttons, after everything we just went through, hit apply and save. All right. I have already done it. So I'm going to hit cancel. All right. And right here, you'll see your controller. Make sure this will be on default. Make sure you select your profile that you just created and set up, make sure it is set on your controller, okay? And then make sure this box is checked, link profile ID. So this will link your profile to your controller, okay? Um, also, you can make multiple profiles for different games. So if you play, you know, multiple games and you use this program, you can make a different profile for that game, okay? Self-explanatory. All right, we'll go back to settings. Make sure we have all of this correct. Make sure I'm not missing anything. And I think that is it right here. You can change the color of your light bar on your controller if you're using a PlayStation controller. So that's pretty cool. Um, I just keep mine on purple because I don't know, honestly. And yeah, guys, that is pretty much it. So hopefully this has fixed some of your problems within DS4 Windows. Um, if it has not, I'm going to put my Twitter or my Discord. I might put both down below. In the description so if you're still getting issues feel free to send me a message and i'll try to help you as best as i can um but yeah guys if you enjoyed this video and it's helped you out be sure to drop me a like uh, if you want to see more content like this also i'm going to be posting tons and tons of call of duty gameplay here in the future so um yeah if you're interested in that be sure to drop me a like and a subscribe i would really 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 appreciate it and uh, yeah, guys, as you can see, it's 5 a.m., so I'm going to go ahead and hop off of here. But uh, y'all have a good night. Peace.